Tonight at 6, we have even more tough questions for City of Atlanta officials. We told you last night how the city plans to demolish the Wishing Well Apartments on Waters Road in October. Well, now we've learned about other properties that will be torn down. Our tough question, who's going to pay for it? CBS Atlanta's Anna Murphy is live now on Allison Court. This is in southwest Atlanta with much more. So who's going to pay for it, Adam? Well, that's the tough question we asked the city, and they told us they've set aside money in their budget to tear down uh, abandoned apartment complexes that are eyesores, much like this one here on Allison Court, as you mentioned, in southwest Atlanta. Plus, they told us they would be placing a lien on each of the properties demolished in order to recoup the cost. This is a parasite on the neighborhood. State Representative Ralph Long is thankful that the city of Atlanta is finally going to demolish this abandoned apartment complex at 2020 Allison Court. However, he still has concerns about the city's intentions. I can't believe that they're, they're going to just tear down this particular one right here and leave the one across the street. City officials said they will only consider tearing down properties that are more than 50 percent dilapidated. So we asked them this tough question. Do you plan to remove everything, even the stuff that's been dumped illegally there? That's correct. We will remove any interior and exterior debris, cut the overgrowth, and of course demolish the buildings that are out there. First up for demolition, the Wishing Well Apartments on Waters Road. They will come down next month. Others on the list include these apartments at 1545 Joseph E. Boone, as well as the Bolton Crossing Apartments at 3775 MLK Junior Drive. The city would not tell us when these units would come down. Well, I think it's good, but I, I think if we're going to be open about the process, the interim process, let's go ahead and put a date out there because uh, they're taxpaying citizens who are depending upon these properties actually being torn down. Residents believe the city must do more than just tear them down. Otherwise, the properties will continue to attract crime and illegal dumping. What do you plan to do with the property once the structure has been demolished? Now, the city does not own this property. Um, at this time, we're not certain if we're going to put up a fence, uh, if we're going to try to block the property to keep uh, people from dumping. That decision has not been made yet. And city officials told us they've demolished 40 properties like this one here during the past year, and there are 100 more in the pipeline. We're live on Allison Court in southwest Atlanta. Adam Murphy, CBS Atlanta News. All right, Adam. And we